Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. For a few weeks now I've been doing little projects to try and make my workspace a bit better. One of the main things I've been doing is trying to improve the dust extraction on every tool. By far the worst tool I have for dust is the mitre saw. I mean here you can see clouds of dust going up in the air. The saw does have a hose and a 4 inch port behind it, but it's just not doing enough. I did a bit of research online like I normally do and it seems no one has come up with a perfect solution for this. So I thought I'd have a go myself, building a box to go round the mitre saw. I wanted to only use bits of material I had on hand, so I had a search round and came out with some plywood and a bit of pine to edge it with. I already had a large dust hood that I got from Axmin's Tools and Machinery, so I was incorporating this into the bottom of the box to suck all the dust through. I do have a respirator, and I wear this when I'm using the power tools but maybe not always when I'm on the camera. And I know that is bad of me, and probably not setting the right example. I think the problem with the respirator is, I put it on while I'm using the tool, and then when I'm finished, I take it off. But just because the tool's now turned off, doesn't mean the air isn't full of fine dust particles floating around. So I always think the best solution is to have extraction at the source and remove most of the dust. I want the front of the box to be curved, so that dust can fall down towards the port at the bottom. So I cut out some curved pieces of ply on the bandsaw using my dust mask and then I could glue and nail these in place. I needed a material thin and flexible enough that I could bend it to those curves. I had a look what I had about and I found a sheet of 3mm thick perspex. I don't like to blow my own trumpet but I thought this was a genius idea. So with a lot of dust extraction it's hard to tell if it's working or not and I thought with this being clear it would be obvious to see where the dust is being pulled through. So I marked out and drilled a series of small holes and then went back with a 10mm bit and enlarged the holes. This didn't go quite as smoothly as I planned and you might be able to see the corners were already smashed off. But I thought I'd get it in place and I could always tape that bit up. I had a piece of MDF I could cut down to use as the backing for the box. I didn't want to glue it in place in case I ever needed to remove it in the future to clean it out so I just screwed it down. Last job before installing it, go around and seal up any gaps with some silicon. You remember how I said my idea was genius? Well, it wasn't. While trying to get it into place, I smashed the perspex. I left the workshop, went and had a sit down and a cup of tea and thought about what to do. After doing some research, I realised what mistake I'd made with the perspex. If I wanted large holes in it, I really needed to start with a small hole and move up every size. Anyway, I decided not to go and buy more perspex and I'd just use a bit of 3mm thick hardboard instead. So I marked out and drilled the holes again. I also decided to put less holes in this time, as with the hardboard I thought it would be easier to add more holes afterwards while it was in place. It could now be bent and secured in exactly the same way as before, and this was much easier to get into place than the perspex. Last job is just to trim the edges flush. You can definitely feel good suction through the holes. You can't necessarily see on camera the way the dust is going. I think this saw is particularly bad for dust extraction. But this box is definitely doing something. I might just need to upgrade to a more powerful extractor. But that's it all done for now. I'm quite pleased with the result. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos.